In this video, we're going to talk about operating the Tecna TE101 resistance welding control for AC resistance welding machines. Upon powering up, the system will switch into a weight condition that will allow you to either program or weld. The last welding program used will automatically be displayed. This control is capable of storing up to 99 weld programs. Using the plus keys under the program menu, you may select the program that you wish to weld or edit. After that, you can change the values using the plus or minus keys and change the parameters using the plus or minus arrows. The sequence of weld parameters can be seen in the diagram in the lower right corner. The first parameter is squeeze time, and this can be set between zero and 99 cycles. This controls the time between closing the electrodes and initiating the weld cycle. The second parameter is the pre-weld time, and this again can be set between zero and 99 cycles. This is the amount of time that the initial cycle of weld will occur before the main welding condition, similar to a preheat. If this value is set to zero, then no pre-weld will occur. The next value is the pre-weld current, and this can be set between one and 99% of the maximum output of the system. This value will occur for the amount of time set in the pre-weld condition. Next, we have cool time one, or the first cool time, and this is set between zero and 50 cycles. This value is the time between the pre-weld condition and the main weld condition. Next, we have the slope up time, or upslope time. This can be set between zero and 25 cycles, and is the time it takes to ramp up to the main welding condition. The next parameter is the weld time, and this can be adjusted between 0.5 and 99.5 cycles. The weld time is the amount of time that the system will hold the current at the value set in the next parameter. The next parameter is current, and this can be set between one and 99% again of the maximum output of the welder. This percentage will be held for the duration in the previous setting, weld time. Next, we have cool time two, or the second cool time, and this is used in conjunction with the pulse feature. This is the time between pulses and can be set between one and 50 cycles. The next parameter is pulses number, or number of pulses. The TE-101 can be set between zero and nine pulses. When set to zero, no pulsing will occur. A pulse will repeat the value set by the weld time and weld current parameters. Next, we have hold time. The hold time can be set between zero and 99 cycles. This is the amount of time that the electrodes will remain closed after welding before reopening and may allow the molten material a chance to solidify. Next is the off time. This is used in automated welding and controls the time between the machine cycle and the next weld time. This can be set between one and 99 cycles. The final two parameters, the maximum current limit and the minimum current limit can be set between zero and 56 kiloamps and will generate an error if the welder sees a current value exceeding these thresholds. When set to zero, these functions are off. The other functions of the TE-101 include the weld no weld button. When the light is on, the weld will occur as normal. But when the light is off, the system will cycle without passing current and only use force and time values. The next button is the automatic cycle function. In single mode, the LED is off and the welder performs a single weld cycle when initiated and then stops. When the LED is lit, it is in automatic mode. In automatic mode, the welder will repeat the weld cycle until the start signal is released. The TE-101 has several LED indicators. The on LED indicates that voltage is present and the system has power. The start indicator shows that the main welding cycle has been initiated. The start to indicator shows that a second weld schedule has been initiated this requires a second foot control or an external signal. The auxiliary LED indicates that a stop command has been given by an external source, such as a flow switch or a PLC. The thermostat LED indicates that the thermostat has been tripped and the system is overheating. The current LED indicates that the system is generating the pulse commands. The final LED is for solenoid valves and indicates that the solenoid valve is active for closing the electrodes. To review, the Tecna TE-101 weld control is a reliable and easy to understand and program AC weld control for resistance welding. It comes standard on many Tecna brand welders, 
but can also be installed on other brands of resistance welding machines. TJ Snow is a U.S. master distributor of the Techna brand. For more information, please contact Inside Sales or see us at tjsnow.com.